Hello everybody. Let's talk about the Onan RV generators, 4,000, 5,500, whatever, from the 90s to modern years. If you go and you start your generator, but you have no electric in the, in the house. Generator's running fine, everything's running fine, but there's no electric. There's a few things you can do to solve them in order. One, foremost, is come back here and, well, yours may be in a different place. Mine's right here. Check your breakers. Make sure your fuses and breakers are good. Let me give you a piece of advice that happened to me up in, uh, I forget where, it was in Montana. We didn't have no electric. We come through and we touched all these. They felt, they felt okay. Fortunately for me, and this was four or five years ago, there was an RV repairman the next campsite up. He come down and looked. He reached in. He touched these. He said, this breaker's flipped. I looked at it. I touched it. I said, no, it's not. He said, try to push on them a little bit. There should be no resistance. Well, when I pushed on it, this one has a slight give to it. It never appeared to be broke, but it was. It had a slight give if you pushed a little bit. So just push your breakers down and push them back up. Just do it to all of them and you're good. That's, that's the first thing to look at. Okay, second thing, and this happens a lot. This can jar itself slightly loose, your plug-in. This is what you unplug and you plug in when you're at the campsite. When you're not, you plug it back into this power box, which is plugging it to the generator. This can be slightly loose. It can have corrosion on it. number of things. So make sure this is good and clean, which actually mine's not. Good and clean, and make sure you plug it in completely, thoroughly. That probably fixed your problem. However, the third and final thing, shut your generator off. You're going to look down here, and I hope you can see this. There's a switch right here at the end of my finger. See it? Right there. That needs to be pulled forward. That's a circuit breaker on the generator. I've had that because we put too much load on the car or the RV. I've had that been flipped back. So simply come out, flip it back, flip it forward, and now try it. If you've got power or you've got generator running fine, but there's no power anywhere inside the coach. Odds are one of those three things will be your problem. And the biggest issue, besides that one incident with those breakers, I've had this happen, I don't know, three or four times in five years. And uh, the breakers are fine, everything's fine. But it's that little bitty switch down in there. Yours could be on the other side or slightly over here. But there's a little circuit breaker switch in there. Flip that and your electric's going to pop right back on. Alright guys and gals, that's all I got for you today. Do me a favor and share this video. Check out my other videos on owning generators. I've got one on if this thing starts, runs fine, and then just dies. I've got a great video on that. Thanks for watching.